Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll see how to apply shadow to the view elements in React Native. And that could be image component, button component, nav bar, or any view elements you can think of. And here we have a simple app with a fixed width and height view. And we'll apply shadow to this view element by passing layout props. And before we begin, I would want to say that there are two ways to apply shadow in React Native based on the platform for iOS or Android. And for iOS, we'll send layout props like shadow offset, shadow radius, shadow color. And for Android, we have to pass a layout prop called elevation. And this prop basically depends on the platform of the Android and it renders if it's if the Android platform is greater than or equal to Lollipop. So now let's just go and create a style for the shadow and pass it to our view element. Now let's create a shadow style and pass the prop called shadow opacity to make the shadow visible. By default, the shadow opacity will be zero. Now we'll pass one and let's apply the shadow style. There it is. Easy, right? Now, the shadow opacity will control the transparency of the shadow. And now we have made it opaque. And we can change the value between zero and one to, to vary the transparency. And it won't be visible, maybe not apparent, but if you have underlying view, then you could observe the transparency. Now let's move on to the next prop called shadow radius. Using which we can control how the shadow is spread. If the shadow radius is zero, that means it's more crisp while higher the value you provide the more it spreads now now let's just change the color of the shadow by passing shadow color prop let's give it red Now, now we can change the direction of how the shadow is been applied. So here you can see the shadow is applied in all the direction. Now we'll change it by sending a prop called shadow offset. Now shadow offset takes CG, CG size as its parameter. And that is basically an object with width and height value. Now let's put height equal to one and let's change it to one. Let's see how the shadow appears. Oh, we don't see any change. That's because we have a shadow radius, high shadow radius value. Let's change it to two maybe. Yeah, now let's increase it little more let's make the shadow more opaque I just want to make it more evident for you guys now you can see the shadow let's remove the shadow radius altogether let's see yeah, now you can see a thin line in the right side of our blue box and the bottom side of our of the blue box and that's because we have given positive width and positive height value. Now I could just go and change the width and height value and show how the direction will change. But let's learn it in a diff interesting way. Here I have X and Y axis where X is width and Y is height. With positive width being left side and positive height being on the top side. 
that means our source of light would be lying somewhere in this quadrant and with the source of light being in that quadrant our shadow for this green box would be casted on the right side of the view and the bottom side of the view now if we want to change the direction of the shadow all we have to do is move the source of light that would make the shadow to be casted in the upper side of the green box as well as the right side of the green box so to do that let's pass a negative height value since the source of light has moved to the bottom and positive width value so let's pass height equal to minus 2 and also change width to 2 so now if you have got the shadow on the upper side of the view and the right side of that view so now we can move the source of light to change the direction again to the upper side and the left side of the view by giving the negative width value and the negative height value so you can keep doing this by moving the source of light in any direction but by moving the source of light to or on top of the axis then you would have the shadow in only one direction in this case only upper side of the view so for this we have to pass width equal to zero and negative height value which will cast the shadow on upper side of the view so basically we'll use this for maybe the navigation bar in the bottom or the tab bar so if you want the shadow to be casted in all the direction then move the source of light on top of the view that would cast the shadow in all direction so for that let's pass just height equal to zero and width is zero but still the shadow is not visible that's because our shadow radius is zero so now let's just increase it so now you can see the shadow being casted in all the direction so that's about the shadow guys now i'll show you a screen which i have created where i've used the shadow to apply to various elements like image button and the bottom bar so let me just import the screen which is in my source folder let me remove this which is not required okay here it is so i have two image elements and the top one doesn't have a shadow and the bottom one has the shadow and after learning the shadow and if you and when you want to apply the shadow to image the basic tendency is to create an image component and pass the shadow style to the image but this would not cast the shadow so to cast the shadow all you have to do is wrap the image element inside a view component and apply the shadow style to the view moving on we have button component where i've created a touchable opacity with the text and i've enclosed that with the view and i've made the shadow to be casted in all direction by passing width equal to zero and height equal to zero with some shadow radius equal to 10 then i have a bo bottom bar here where the shadow is casted only on the top side of the view and that i've done by just passing height equal to minus one and with some opacity and if you want an out of box solution then there is this library called react native elevated view and it takes care of casting a shadow on both the platforms by using elevation and shadow props inside the library so all you have to do is pass an elevation value for both ios and android and it will do the conversion inside the library and that's about it guys i hope you have enjoyed the video and i would love to hear some comments from you guys and till next time have fun coding and thanks for watching guys